calorie counting is just such a kind of a time honored way to uh, measure what we're eating and are we doing it the right way and this is how you lose weight and calorie oh, let's not forget calorie deficit is the way that you lose weight now I know this is not news for you okay I know if you are a woman 35 to 40 and above this shit is not news for you but we're gonna do this anyway because it's really hard to beat inculcated like rules that we've been brought up with right and the rule is calorie deficit equals weight loss but when you become a body that's perimenopausal when your metabolism slows down when you are when you've suffered like a major trauma and it affects your metabolism when you're in a place that you stop losing weight in calorie deficit what the actual hell are you supposed to do then other than be accused of you know not knowing how to count by some moron the thing with it is this Calorie counting can work until it doesn't. I'm really not a big fan of it. I've never wanted to know how the hell to become a calorie counting scientist. And when it stops working, when you have high levels of cortisol in your body, here's what you have to do. You have to, instead of counting the amount of calories in your food, you've got to count other things in your food. You've got to count how much protein there is in your food. You can get a formula online, I never remember, that tells you how much protein you need per pound or kilo. You have to count how much fat there is in your food. Now, if you eat plant-based, let me assure you, you're getting zero bloody fat. So like I eat plant-based and I eat at home. I don't eat processed food much. And I have to add fat to my meals because there's none, there's none in my food because plants don't friggin' have fat. Um, you have to check how much, um, fiber there is in your food are you eating enough fiber is it working the right you know because because really you need fiber fiber helps to clear hormone pathways it helps to actually make your system work and your metabolism kind of has to work harder to make your metabolism to, to, to bite, break down the fiber so you've got to do that and you've got to work out how this is all working for your body how are you meant to do that when you were brought up saying here is a calorie i have eaten 200 calories i don't give a shit what was in those calories? Why is no one asking us what the hell is the quality of the food you are eating? Are you eating like you are a tiny little frigging terrible car? Or are you eating like you're an amazing Ferrari? Which by the way, you are. Because the Ferrari needs a different kind of petrol, gas for you non, you know, English people, than the small little rust buckety car needs. So treat yourself like the Ferrari and eat the right, uh, life changing on how you function.